All right, let's get right into it. First off, I apologize. You are going to need this Ninja Creamy, which sucks. I hate appliances. I don't want any appliances in my house, but uh, it's a necessary evil, at least for tomorrow. Now, obviously, if you wanna make the best tasting protein ice cream in the world, you're gonna need the best tasting protein powder, which is where PE Science will come in. And all the flavors I will show you today, you can use code Travis to save 10% on PEScience.com. So we're gonna be using vanilla. We'll also be using my personal favorite, the chocolate truffle. If you're a chocolate lover, you have to try this. And then the newest flavor, the white chocolate macadamia. It's like those cookies at Subway. So good. And the next things you'll be needing are sugar-free, fat-free pudding mix. So for the vanilla, I'm going to be using the butterscotch, chocolate on chocolate, and then I'll use the white chocolate with the white chocolate macadamia. And of course, I did not create these recipes. This is all based off of the TikTok trend. But if you don't like Chinese spyware, you can watch it here on my YouTube channel and hopefully get some really great ideas. You're going to love this recipe. And I also meant to add the reason you're going to need pea science is not only because it's the best tasting, but also because it's a whey casein blend. It's gonna give you a thicker consistency and it's just gonna make a much better ice cream. I'm going to be using almond milk for my recipe, so I'm gonna need 12 ounces or about 354 milliliters. I think it's easier just to use the scale here. 365, got a little bit too ambitious. See if I can make this without making a mess. Oh my gosh, 342, <laughs> 361. All right, it doesn't need to be that exact, but you know what, 350. That'll do. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Let's start with the gourmet vanilla and the butterscotch. Gonna do one scoop of the PE Science Protein, just like that. And then we will do 10 grams of the sugar-free, fat-free pudding mix. And unfortunately, you do need this. I don't really love using this because it has a whole lot of junk in it, but it will make a much better consistency. So 10 grams won't kill you. And then I'm gonna mix all of this up with a hand mixer. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this puppy in the freezer. If only Alfie's food didn't take up the entire thing. See if I can make some room here. And then we will follow the exact same process for the chocolate. All right, and we will finish it off here with the white chocolate macadamia again following that exact same process. And I will throw these in the freezer. I usually like to make it with the cake pop, but unfortunately I'm out right now, but the cake pop mixed with animal crackers, unbelievable. We'll let that freeze overnight. And I'll check in with y'all tomorrow and we'll finish up the process. So for those of you who might be new to the channel, my dog Alfie's favorite food in the entire world is ice cream. So he is gonna be more excited about this next part than anybody else. What do you think, buddy? You want some cold cream? Cold cream? <laughs> All right, let's see how they turned out. I'm gonna grab one of the chocolates and I will grab, um, let's see, the butterscotch. So once we freeze it overnight, you can tell, it looks just like that. Now all we have to do is put it in this little container just like this, and then we put it in this little lid. So we put it in the machine, like so. We, what do we do next? Put it in the machine, like this. We're gonna lock it into place, like, wait. Like that, like that. And all we have to do is turn this puppy on. And because we use almond milk, you're gonna wanna hit white ice cream. Fair warning, it might blow your eardrums out, but all you gotta do, unlock it after that. Hard to do with one hand, hold on. All right, moment of truth. So we take it off and you can see it's just a little bit too icy. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to put in a little bit of almond milk here in the center. Just a little bit more, doesn't have to be much. Oh yeah, this is gonna be pretty good. So we're gonna spin it one more time. All right, usually second time is the charm. And just look at this consistency, honestly, I cannot believe it. It almost seems too good to be true for the macro breakdown, but this is the most legit protein ice cream in the entire world. So I will show the mix-in feature to you guys, but before we do all that, let me just show you plain Jane chocolate ice cream. It was just protein powder, almond milk, and then the sugar-free pudding mix. And this 
It's like a chocolate frosty from Wendy's. It doesn't even make sense. And get this, for this entire pint, you're talking about 200 calories. So much better tasting than Halo Top, better macronutrient breakdown, and much cheaper. Even when you consider the cost of the machine, this is incredible. My mind is just blown. I don't know what kind of voodoo magic this machine actually performs on this, but whatever it's doing is absolutely working. Now, if you want to get crazy, there's also a setting for mix-ins, and it's not just like it throws it on top. I mean, it literally, I'll show you. Maybe you're like me and you're a big chocolate peanut butter guy. You want to put, let's see, what's a serving? 38 pieces, I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and weigh it out, but let's just say this is one serving right here. I'm just gonna throw it in just like this. Put this guy back in here, put it back into the machine, lock that puppy, throw it up. And if you can see, there's a setting that says mix in. All you gotta do is hit that. All right, and let's see if I can find something to show you guys so you can see they are mixed all in right there. Don't know if you can really tell from the camera but just absolutely perfect. Now, obviously, I couldn't sit here and eat ice cream in front of my beautiful puppy dog without giving him some, and you cannot have chocolate, little boy, so you're gonna get some good old-fashioned vanilla the old school way. As you can tell, absolutely hated it. 205 calories, 10 carbs, six fat, and 26 protein. It doesn't seem humanly possible, but here we are, 2023. I was gonna spin the other flavor, but Griffin is asleep and I will get in a lot of trouble if I wake the baby up. So let's check in on that one tomorrow. Come here. Sit. Good job. All right, we're back. We're gonna try the vanilla with the white chocolate, as you can see very frozen right now. We're gonna pop it in the machine and let it do its thing. All right, you can tell it's still a little chalky, so we're gonna add a little bit more milk. Respin one more time. Moment of truth. Let's take off the lid here and just look. This is now a vanilla frosty. Let me give you guys a true taste test before I put in any toppings. It doesn't even make sense. But this one, I'm gonna put in something very special on my all time favorite snacks. Really shouldn't be eating any of this, but for video purposes, I'm just gonna put in a serving or so, and we will watch the machine go to work. Griffin, as you can hear in the background, is very excited about this. So let me give you guys the taste test with the mix-ins. It's almost too good to be true, guys. Almost too good to be true. Now, I am not saying you need to go out and spend $150 on a Ninja Creamy because as I said in the beginning of the video, I hate having appliances. They take up room, they cost a lot of money. I get it, but it is a nice little treat, and I will give the same criticism that I give to pretty much all low-calorie ice creams, is it does tend to get a little bit icy. I think if I play around with the recipe, maybe add like a banana or some yogurt, it would be a little bit more creamy, but we'll see. Do you guys have any recipes I should try out, or should I keep trying to perfect it, or do you not even care, and you're just here out of sympathy? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for being here. I'll talk to you all soon.